Oh wow, look at that. We are live. Wow. Turn on a hmm. I love when this camera decides to not get imaging well. Oh well. Sorry about this. Let me just send something onto the gram. Save, share, copy link, boom, boom, boom. Uh, do, 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 do. So now. Uh, going live on YouTube to YouTube to look over some research results. Organize my life. Boom, ba -da boom, 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 boom. Done. Cool. So, what are we doing today? Well, I have a whole bunch of. Okay, yeah, we can get rid of this. Um, today is like an organization day for me. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go through uh, my research and we're just going to. Uh, Basically, I am setting up this page uh, right here. Uh, basically, just want to add in some results of my research, start a few other research things, and better organize just damn near everything. Um, so what I want to do first is let's get OBS set up. Uh, I am also going to be listening to music and watching something down in the corner. Uh, actually, at this point, let me just, sorry, I'm doing all this off screen, of course. Uh, let me just turn on a MF Doom Cook and Soul, Doom Xmas. Sick. Good music. Okay. So I have a whole bunch. Oh, God. Can I talk while listening to music with lyrics? Uh, we're switching over to macro blank. Okay. Uh, very good music, by the way. Um, so yeah, I have quite a lot of different research results that I need to uh, just organize, basically. Uh, I'm meeting with my advisor on Tuesday next week. Tuesday, pretty sure. And uh, yeah, just wanna, I don't know, make everything a little bit better, make everything a little bit more clear. Uh, so, <sighs> this is what I need to get done. So first off, just adjust my monitor a bit better. Uh, let's first tackle my, um, okay, I no longer need to unpin that, or I no longer need to pin that. Let's go into my research. Let's also pin this to quick access. I don't know why I haven't. Um, let's just pin it there. Okay. So this is my main folder for organizing my results, and it just needs a big, 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 big update. Um, yeah. So yeah, it just needs an update. Uh, it just needs a little bit of a cleaning, particularly in the outputs section. Um, the outputs have just gotten bad. So let's now make a, oh gosh. So I used to have this high level organization, inputs, outputs, et cetera, et cetera. And then outputs now has a whole bunch. Um, let's just have a new folder called RASP. Let's just start with there. So RASP is this program here, which is a reconstruct ancestral state and phylogenies. It's just a really useful program. Uh, but I'm inputting a lot there and outputting a lot. So let us now rasp, rasp. So everything just tagged with rasp. Um, there's some other things here. IDK, why it's saving this. What the fuck, Dylan? Um, so this will also have, the problem is it's outputs from R that are going into be, that are going on to be inputs into rasp. So, come on, scroll down. You can do it. This is kind of a dumb way of doing it, but whatever. Come on, show me that Rasp folder. Boom. Move to Rasp. Okay. 
So I'm almost certain these are also, okay, states, rage, constraint, adjacent only. Um, ah, okay, yes, so uh, we will move all of these into rasp as well. Do do. Okay, cool. So that'll clean up a lot. I'll have to change my R scripts and maybe a few other things, but that does help a lot. Um, keep that. Um, now let's add in a. F Why did Notion just update? Okay, let's add a folder now for biodiverse. Um, so these are the ones that are tagged with BD, and I want to say these are also BD. Um, BD Philo, uh, boo, 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 occurrence data sets. Okay, these are really old. Okay, so we're gonna move this over into um, here. And from here on out, I am going to archive everything from before 2022. So what I do, uh, this is like a really good data cleaning technique. Uh, don't delete these things. It, it'll just be a pain in the butt later on. Uh, instead, just make a folder within your folder uh, that's just called archive. Um, it, it really does help out quite a bit. So you see, these are some pretty old results. Um, don't know why this is saying from 2018. But uh, yeah, so. What we're going to do is I'm going to put this all in here. Uh, that way, if anything is like, uh, we'll open up our own old, uh, an old R script and it says uh, data not found. Uh, I know that it's not in some random ass folder. It's just in outputs and it's just gonna be an archive. So that has already cleaned up quite a bit. Um, yeah, so these, all of this needs to change a little bit. I don't know why I have my occurrence data set as a shape file. Okay, let's just look at this really quick. Really, really quickly. Eh, it's not the end of the world to have this as a, its own thing. Okay, so we'll just keep that. Um, so my figures we can keep there. IUCN as sub. Uh, Ah, uh, I'm gonna archive this. Um, and you know what? I am gonna archive this as well. Uh, so I really wanna try and keep it. Um, okay, well, I tried to close you. Discard, uh, try again. Yeah, so I really wanna keep it uh, pretty organized here. So the, where these are my data files that I feed into R. Uh, so this is like whenever I have an R script, let's see. These, this is also something we're going to be updating today. Um, that's something I need to update today. Let's just get rid of some things. Uh, so for example, file open, recent files. If I go to, um, I need to open up a file now. Scripts, uh, let's say we're doing file region create script. I have these right here, which are just outputs. Uh, two is cleaned data uh, right there. And then three is occurrence, which is right there. Uh, this can be removed or archived. This one can be archived as well. Um, so yeah, just uh, really, really easy to keep everything organized. Uh, it should be one, two, three, four. Uh, I've obviously been messing up things a little bit, so it's what it is. But cool, so that is my output folder organized. Let us keep that going. Um, so let's go over to research. Uh, organize outputs folder, and that is completed. So I really don't need to see that section whenever I'm in this section heading. Uh, we'll put that there. Okay, uh, so that's on hold. Um, I am not actually going to do that now. Okay, cool. Okay. So I have a whole bunch of going, things going on here. I am going to save this, and I am going to, oh god, 
I don't want to talk about that. Oh, God. Yeah, that's something I am shelving. Uh, so we can save it and close it. Also, I do not know why I need this. Open. Uh, don't save. Okay. So... Yeah, okay. So now with our rasp, let's start looking at some of these. So honestly, I do not know what is going on with all of this here. So what I wanna do is, let's go into inputs really quick. Um, another one that's very disorganized, but I'm not gonna touch. I'm gonna keep this the way it is. Um, here we go though. These are the files I wanted to look at. So, if I go into, let's just make this. I, I've just been meaning to make this. Okay, so data. Um, boo, 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 boo. Yep. So basically, these are two different phylogenies that I have downloaded from treebase.org. Which is going to take a while. Um, Yes, that I want to feed into here, but I want to be able to feed the posterior distribution of the trees. So that's the only thing that I need to do. Because I want to be able to do this S-Diva analysis. It's a really cool analysis that I really want to get done. Um, so just need to do that. Uh, but I need to make sure I actually have those trees. Uh, so whenever you create phylogenetic trees, for example, uh, what it does is you will say, make a let's try to figure out how to how to explain this simply uh say we have three species we want to figure out how closely related they are what we can do is uh, many of the methods nowadays they create a posterior distribution of trees and are constantly testing which trees work better now on a three species tree a five species tree a seven species tree uh maybe taxa is more accurate a five taxa seven taxa tree it's very simple. We'll, we'll know the most likely which one is best. So what we can do is we can, uh, let's say, somewhat randomize the order and the relationships of all of these species together. From there, we can determine, well, how likely is that given the data? So we feed it data, say genetic information, and we, we look at those relationships and we then, uh, the, we, the algorithm, then says, ah, well, it fits the data pretty well. Cool. Now do another randomization and it'll do another randomization, maybe based off of that old randomization and then say, oh, look, this new tree is a little bit better. This is the new tree that we're going to do. This is the new one that we're going to say is the good one. Now, if you do that tens of thousands of times, what you're going to do is you're going to find that the, the tree gets a little bit better and better every time. Uh, and eventually it will now find a great starting point and maybe there are 3,000 trees with minor differences between them. Maybe a few species are flipped around, maybe some relationships are slightly different. And that is uh, thousands of trees that are probably mostly all correct. When we make a consensus tree, uh, we'll say, well, hey, 70% of the trees say this split is occurring, so this is what we're going to go with. 70% uh, of the trees say the next split is occurring, so that's what we're going to go with. Uh, so that's the consensus tree. We usually see the consensus tree in the, file, in the publications, but there are often thousands and thousands of trees behind it. These techniques actually want those thousands and thousands of trees. So, so far I've only been feeding it the singular tree, that, that consensus where we have the best guess based on this posterior distribution of trees. Uh, so what I'm wanting to do now is get the posterior distribution. And I'm pretty sure I have that here. Uh, inside of these data sets, but I just need to check them over a little bit more. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do, because if I have both of those, then I can run uh, SDEVA, SDEC, and as many other things as I want to. Uh, the only thing is I need to prep them properly to go into here. Uh, so yeah, I just need to do some prepping, which is no big deal. No big deal at all. Uh, this can probably be simplified quite a bit. Um, yeah, I actually don't know why it's set up the way it is um, at all. Yeah, yeah, I just need to... 
fuck around with some things. <laughs> Wait, I do have a... I do have a consensus tree for amphibians. Oh. Hmm. I guess I do. I didn't realize that. Why haven't I been using that tree? Oh well. Yeah, so this whole prepping data thing needs to be redone quite a bit. Um, it's just gotten a little bit Frankensteined. So. Damn, this is taking a long time. I'm going to cancel this operation. And I am just going to... Did I copy them or did I cut them? Yeah, because I'm like, this shouldn't be taking as much time as it is. So uh, let's put this into, oh, didn't even name the new folder. Uh, or I did, I just undid it by accident. Oh, well. OK. So let's look into each of these. So extract, uh, can I extract two folders at once? Yep. I'm pretty sure I've already extracted these, but whatever. So basically what I need to do is I need to get these over into here. Uh, I need to make sure that the uh, species labels are totally fine and I need to make sure that the, um, yeah, I just need to make sure the species labels are consistent uh, and then I can export them based off of a few phylogenetic uh, things. So that, that's really what I'm working on here at the moment. Um, so yeah. Yep, these are very large files. And then I want to rerun all of this. So that's what I want to get done. I just want to focus it on one thing at a time. Because this is all going to go into uh, regions. This is going to go all into. So I have canopy, which is fine. Uh, conservation, I kind of think I want to, I think I'm actually going to move these blocks around really quickly. Cool beans. Uh, this is Notion, by the way. I organize my entire life in Notion. Uh, so you know what? I should add the regions here that I do have already. Um, I don't think I've exported them. So let's just wait a little bit. Yeah, we'll just wait a little bit trying to do it one thing at a time. Uh, I just want to give like a few page document over to my advisor uh, that just has my results, kind of early interpretations. Uh, yeah, so this is what I'm going to be working on over the weekend too. Uh, my, I don't really give a shit about weekends anymore. I just do whatever the fuck I want to do. Yeah, so you can see right now uh, on this upload, it is doing the posterior distribution of the trees. So it's this dot trees file. Um, so. So let's actually look up SDiva really quick. SDiva is one of the ones that I really wanted to use early on. Okay. Okay, so let's figure out, I want to see articles that have cited this paper. 
uh, because they just tested it. I want to see just more. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I want to see how it's more being used. Um, I want to see. Uh, why am I not? Okay, well then let's go to Google Scholar. Uh, doo -boo -doo -boo -boo -boo. I just love Google Scholar so much. Um, yeah, I'm just a little confused about usually. Um, so let's let's do this. S. Let's look at things published. Uh, From 2012. Uh, how did I do this? Um, articles that are saved. Usually, usually there's just an index I click on, and I'm a little confused. Um, find papers that cite a paper. There we go. That's what I'm looking. And I thought I could do that. Like usually it's just right here and I just click on it and I don't, oh my God, they're cited by, that's what I was looking for. I was like, what, I, I know it's there. Um, let's do, no, that's not do that one. Uh, let's do, I just want to do one that I'm kind of, no, there we go on Scopus. So yeah, this is kind of the thing, like, this is how I often do it. So I like to choose papers that are published within the last three years, two or three years. Um, and then I just prefer to do ones with herps because I like herps. Um, oh, 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 hey oh. Ooh, this is a cool paper. I can already tell. Zoologica scripta. Okay, I just want to get to methods. Um, study area and sampling, yada, 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 okay. Partition finder, yep, Cypress species, yep, divergence. Hmm. Ah. Oh, I thought we used SDiva for this. This is actually one I will want to read later, though. Oh, let me uh, open up Zotero. Uh -huh, uh huh. Okay. I also do not need my vortex going. Okay. Cool. And then let us try again. Federalization. Cool. No, this isn't. This isn't doing it. Very cool paper though. Um, looks like it though. I'm assuming it's a cool paper. So I was looking at them in yeah, Scopus. Okay. So. This one. Okay, I don't know what their what metrics they use, but let's see. also extract the squamate one because that will also take some time okay okay methods 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 DNA sequence alignment morphological studies evolution of chromosome numbers 
divergence time, diversification, etc. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. Perfect. Both are in the rest. Perfect. That's what I'm doing based on the extent distribution. Uh, we're delimited. Subset of a thousand random Bayesian trees. Perfect. So, so what we'll do is uh, I think we're just going to pull a thousand random trees uh, and do that. Easy enough. Easy enough. Okay. So. This will be very easy to do. Once we get the posterior, we'll do the last posterior distribution of the trees. Um, and then we'll, yeah, we'll just pull randomly a thousand of them. So, very, very easy. Very, 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 very easy. And then that's what we're going to feed. Oh, what does Rasp need for that? What does that help about? Uh, <laughs> okay, I didn't, I didn't want that. I wanted a guide. Uh, File, uh, okay, wait, file, load trees, uh, add trees, what do you want? Okay, just a dot trees file. Super, super easy. Okay, so we're just gonna find one for uh, squamates, we're gonna do one for amphibians, we're gonna rerun all these analyses, and uh, yeah, that'll be what we do. Oh! Even better. I think I can just hold on. Rasp. Oh yeah. Let me also add this into here. Uh, Rasp v four software. Very small noise. God, macro blank. So I don't know what was going on in like the 1970s in Japan, um, because I'm uncultured, but they're funky and jazzy as fuck. Okay, getting started. I think I can actually just upload all of the trees. Like, so I saw this option, tree option, binary trees, amount of trees, discard before load, discard after load, and then you can actually just select how many random trees. So I'm just kind of like, Awesome. So what I'm wondering, okay. Load a consistent tree. Trees can be obtained from this. Little files. Yeah, yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, so we'll do the posterior distribution of trees instead. Um, super, super easy. Oh, I guess while this is going, I could have been looking at the squamate ones. So yeah, you see this here? So this is what I want to get. So I just need to load in this tree file. Um, I'm just gonna load in the latest one because that's usually the best one. Because sometimes there's like a bit of a curve to get up to there and I am assuming this, so I am just going to... Um, YOLO. Okay, so what I wanna do is, we'll go over here. Okay, so, okay, oh, you know what, okay, so this is something I've been meaning to do for a while on here, so this needs to add in loading the right thing, so I need to make sure I load in the presence absence matrix, so load. Uh, so this is a really cool thing you should do in R, is segment your analyses. So what I have is a bunch of, I can show you really quick, some scripts, uh, oh, wrong scripts, uh, scripts. I always have a folder where I just keep all my scripts. And you can see here, I have set up raw file, clean, spatial, combine, blah, 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 blah. And then what I use is a 999. Uh, what that really just means is, and I can actually zoom in on this a little bit more. 
Um, what I have are, yeah, scripts that end with 999. These are post hoc analyses. These are things I do after my main analysis. Uh, so for example, this is prep data rasp, which is what I have here. But at the top of my scripts in my outputs folder, these are these files right here. So what I can do is I can load, uh, let's load, for example, file region outputs. Of course, I forgot, is it just called there, data. Uh, okay, so boom, 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 file region outputs dot r data. So, and I keep it in my outputs folder, so I need to specify that outputs. So what you see is that inside of here, I actually have kept uh, quite a few different data sets. So all within one data set, very easy to load up. Uh, this is not the one I want. Uh, so instead, I need to make sure I load up Phyla Regions A and Phyla Regions S. Uh, so A is for amphibians. And then the nice thing is I can just copy and paste this because I've used very consistent data naming. So we'll load in these two. There might be some issues though, I just realized with loading them in. Nope, because I have been kicking ass with naming things. Okay. And then also, I think I want to add in my, I think I want to add in occurrence, I think is where I have my data stored. I need to create a, uh, a document listing out everything there. So three, occurrence.rdata. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I've kept it in occurrence. Uh, occurrence is a big one. Yep, so I have my presence absence matrix, which I needed sorely. Uh, just so I can double check, this does have everything right. So if I go to a Nolis, um, but trick, okay, yeah. this has both amphibians and rep, uh, squamates. So this is all I need. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove excess data that I do not need. Uh, so this, for this particular one, I think I only need the phylogenies, the matches. I may not even need the matches. I just need the phylogenies and the presence absence matrix. Okay, um, so remove uh, betajack.com a uh, so com s. Uh, we will actually remove matches a uh, matches s. Uh, I do not think I'm going to, oh wait, hold on, because, mm, match the, match the phylos I am loading with that, rasp prep, Oh. Did I not <laughs> add something here? Oopsies. Uh, so, let's see, full. Then we'll keep those, and then we will remove raster, just for now. Okay, matches. Perfect. Um, did I just do something really dumb? Find a region create. Yeah, I 
don't. Am I missing a script? Hold on, sorry. Oh my god, it's in the visualization part. So... I could probably do this better, but we'll just do this. So, uh, actually, you know what? I could just do this really quickly. Boom. Could not find function filer region. Okay, yep. So, library region, library tidyverse. Because I always use tidyverse for damn near everything. Ooh. Ah, shit. I think I fucked up. Um, okay, yep. It's fine. It's fine. It's no big deal. This is why you keep your stuff organized. I just didn't create the output for this, which is realistically all I really need. Um, so... Okay, yeah, so I kind of fucked up a little bit. So yeah, let's let's fix all these issues I'm having. Um, so we got the raster. We need to do it there. Raster, filter out grids. Uh, this raster is just a bunch of grid cells that cover my area. Uh, as numeric, the row names in com. Now, I only... I says here I have com A. So now I need to organize it. Uh, I want to say... Is it in file region create? Uh, I'll open up this script because I already have file region create here. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, shit. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, here we go. We could just make this really quickly. Drop all tips of the tree. No. With <laughs> why do I do this to myself? Okay. Um, so I have been copying and pasting this little function over and over because for some reason I just cannot keep my phylogenies consistent. Um, so philo, uh, basically the row names are incorrect uh, because some of them, why is it only wrong in my presence absence matrix? Why? <laughs> so actually, hold on, let me look at this really quick. I don't know why this is off. Okay, so I need to do, yeah, row names of Prezab. So row names of Prezab are going to be G sub um, with the row names of Prezab. Okay, so what that did was it just added a little underscore. So fucking stupid. So fucking stupid. Okay. There we go. Hey, look at that. We got a proper matches. Uh, so now. That's good. Uh, and then now we can make the com A, which is what I needed. Uh, so that's fine. So now matches com S. Uh, these all should be fine. So I'm going to save over each of these. Uh, these are just going into these output data files, which um, I'm realizing uh, were not properly set up. So here we go. So save that. Now we go to here. And now, ah, see, we have file region outputs, uh, but this needs to be A. 
and now one for s. That's the issue. This this particular one had not been fully transferred over. Uh, just to make things a little bit more clear, I'm going to reload all the data. So this is also the nice thing about making sure you save only what you need, is that I can just clear my environment whenever I want to. And uh, very, very, very easily reload it in a moment's notice. Uh, so, like, I, I'm not worried about losing my data because I just know I have everything that I need saved. Um, okay. Okay. So... So now here we can make a species raster A and one for S, so amphibians and squamates. So all this is going to do is it's just going to make a raster that is very, very focused on A. So where this is, I need to change this to A, A, um, which is fine, that's fine, that's fine. This needs to be redone pretty badly. Let me add a note to this. Need to redo hello. Okay, so now this one, raster. Oh, not even needed here. So let's start with uh, amphibians. There we go. One, two, three, four, squamates. Boom. Okay, now we have it properly set up. Com S. Uh, Optical, optimal, raster species S. Good, 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 good. Uh, perfect. So now, so now we just need to save. Um, I'm just going to double check the. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so now we will save up our uh, everything, really. So, what do I want to save here? Well, I want to save PL Jack A, PL Jack A, PL. Oh, PL SOAR A. So what this is saying is just like optimal phyla regions, Jacquard's index for amphibians, phyla regions, Sorensen's index for amphibians, because I'm doing multiple indices. Um, but then I also want to save this raster here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this uh, just for RASP. So knowing that I need the presence absence matrix, um, here we go. So I do need this. Um, I will need Prezab. So no Prezab. I think that's it, dude. Okay, so file is equal to. Uh, do I have a very consistent naming thing? Yeah, so we'll just do five. Um, Phyla regions A. Okay, dot R data. And then all I need to do is this. Cool. And now just change these A's to S's. And it will keep that present file there. That might have an issue later on the road. But uh, save this. And boom. Uh, PL Jack A. Oh, because I didn't actually run this. Ha! <laughs> boom. Boom. We're ignoring that. <laughs> yep. Okay. So now what I can do is over here, what I can then do is, okay, first off, we're gonna get rid of that. We're going to delete all of this and we're just gonna change save to load. Uh, easy, easy, easy. Now let's clear all of our data again just double check. I'm pretty sure this is all we will need. Uh, so uh, we no longer need this code or this code. It wasn't that big of a deal to have that, but whatever. So now P can be reshaped. Um, yep. Okay. This is no longer needed. 
uh, p species, uh, change that over. So now we just need a new phylo. Uh, so this is where I'm going to call in a different phylogenetic tree. Uh, so this is where we are going to do... Yeah. So this is where it gets a little bit muddy. Uh, so... Okay, so we're going to call something phylo a uh, post 10k uh, a read dot tree and then we are going to call this uh, we're going to move this over from our data into uh, let's start with the amphibians one so let's do a okay okay um Just extract. So just this dot trees file. Oh, I don't want to open it. Uh, I just want to extract it. Uh, here we go. So do 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 do. So let's add this into inputs. So we have AMPHSHL new uh, posterior seventy-two thirty-eight dot dot trees. Cannot open file. Uh, oh, that's because it needs to be in inputs. Cool. And then we will also move this one over into our other. So yeah, this could be organized a lot better, uh, but for now, I think it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. So then, once that is done, we are going to rename it. We're going to copy it. We're going to copy the whole thing. And then we are going to uh, put it. So, philo a post 10k ape as you can see, this is a very large file, so I just want to make sure that it is uh, properly done. Um, the reason I need to get it into here is because I need to make sure I have the matches, uh, because, wait, does Rasp trim anything? Yeah, because Rasp was giving me Yeah, because RASP needed the species names to be consistent with all the states, so it didn't have an auto prune feature, so that's why I need to do it here. Uh, but you'll see here uh, that I now have a large multi phylo. Uh, so this is fine, we'll just trim that up. Uh, let's get the squamate one now in there. Mm hmm. Do, 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 do. Then it looks like I already have some consensus trees that I can use. Um, I'll be real, I don't actually work with multi phylos that often. Um, luckily, the row names are already consistent. <sighs> so let's see if we can figure out how to do this. So maybe I can already do a match. Uh, match phylocom, maybe it'll just work on a Maybe it'll work in a multi -philo. If not, I will have to apply this function over this. So matches a post. That's what we'll do. Because I'm using post for posterior. TC means time calibrated. Uh, technically, it means consensus in my organization. Uh, I need a new album to play. I could do Flying Beagle from uh, Himiko. Himiko. Kikuchi, 
which is actually a really fucking good album. Uh, it is this album. It's so fucking good. It's so fucking good. It has intense Cowboy Bebop vibes. Super funky. Okay, this is the moments where it's just like an awkward amount of time to do everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play some guitar. Because, yeah, this is always the problem I run into with my data. And, of course, the moment I grab it, it's done. Uh, so let's see if this just works. I assumed it would not. Phi is not of class phi low. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to do an L apply. L apply uh, over phi low A post TK. Oopsies. And then uh, function x. Uh huh. And then the function will be phyla region. Uh, this function right here. We'll see. This might not work. Uh, in theory, it works in my head which means that it probably doesn't work in reality. Uh, or am I God among men? And it's just gonna work. Seems like it's working. Cool. Just removed everything okay well hey at least it went kind of fast okay so what is going on here is my presence absence matrix not good presence absence matrix is not good uh so that's totally fine so we'll just do that again uh which i can probably just steal it from i want to say this function uh, maybe it was this function that i want to steal it from uh you know what actually it probably was this one that i wanted to change it from yep okay cool so let's add this to the very very top um, you see, it's one of those things where, like, I added it in everywhere, so it just means I should have just changed it in one spot. But the nice thing is, it looks like this function actually worked first try. That always feels good to do something. Because L apply applies a function over a list, and this multi philo is a, uh, well, it's a uh, list. Just a list of trees. That's all it is. So L apply means I can apply it over everything. Super, super easy. Uh, do, 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 do. So this is why I always say like learn base R. Like I'm sure there's some specialty functions, but uh, it worked just fine. I'm a little bit out of tune. Feels a little bit flat. Okay, that is a little bit flat. Okay. Let's see, that feels, no, no, actually, or is it dead on? Oh, or maybe my root notes are a little bit sharp. That's what it was. My root notes were a little sharp, which made the other ones sound a little flat in comparison. So... Just double check that this worked flawlessly. Okay, so cool. Let me now just duplicate this uh, and do it now for the squamates. So here we go. Uh, boo -boo 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 -boo. So this is also why you want to use very consistent naming. It makes everything much easier. Uh, so done.
Oh my god, I forgot I was going to, uh, eat. <laughs> Hold on, I'll give you right back, I just need to eat up some, uh, I have some leftovers. so close to having good results.
Okay, 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 okay. Oh, it's sick! Ugh. Don't you dare. Got some really good orange tofu from this uh, Chinese spot last night, which was very cheap, and it made up. It's now gonna be three meals. <laughs> this is actually maybe too much for me, even, but okay. Okay, so the matches are all good. Just double check, make sure matches as post looks good, which of course it does. Awesome. Okay, so now we have this, uh, this which is great. Uh, so rasp prep, uh, we need to feed it. Uh, we're gonna do another L apply. So very, very easy. So L uh, apply. Oh, hmm. Uh, wait, no. So this, we just need, we'll just take it from one, because we just need a phylogeny. Why do I need a phylogeny? Don't really need a phylogeny. I can change this. Um, I can change phylogeny to tips. In fact, let's just do that. Let's call this uh, taxa. That'll make this function way more usable. Taxa, so in taxa. So, yep, done and done there. Uh, literally a minor, minor change. So now what we can do is instead of calling this, we can just do that um, and then tip. Tip dot label so yeah the problem is I need to actually you know what okay well that will be fine okay perfection uh, so this we just need to say phi tip dot label so, Jesus Christ. Um, so I just need to add this little tip label tag onto all of these and that should run without any problems. Um, easy enough. Okay, but now I also want to do, why was I writing these? Oh, I did have to write them. Okay, perfect. So now uh, rasp prep, so now we'll do the same function. Um, actually, Realistically? Mm. Yeah, I should just need to add an L apply here. I don't re need to I don't need to redo them every single time. Uh, L apply over uh, what what is we calling this? Uh, Philo I should only need the... Uh, let's assume I had a reason for doing this. Okay. I'll apply. Uh, 
and I'll apply over Philo A post 10K, apply over Philo A post 10K, ah, apply it. So we're going to do keep.tip over those photo regions based on the states. Okay, so this will now be uh, Philo Jack A post states. Bit of a word. species in taxa, object in matches. Um, matches a post. Okay, why did I get zero on that? PL Jacquard's index A. Uh, is it something along these lines? Oh, uh, ah, that's all it was. Cool, need that too. Oh, good, okay, and then. Object in eh. oh doy so function x keep dot tip x cool so yeah there we go this is so fucking good. Okay, so now oh, look at this, waiting on the ten trees. You know what? I'm gonna stop because I know I'm eating and that's just disgusting and I'm hearing my own squishing noises. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna stop streaming. <laughs> and I'd rather watch a video right now while eating, so. Because all this is just gonna be silence, waiting on programs to start, and me squishing. So, 